there everybody my name is Nicole Merman Jax and Mermaid Rachel had reached out to me about creating a little makeup video for you guys on a mermaid look and then later on uh, we're actually gonna go outside I have a pool outside and we're gonna do a little kind of mini photo shoot and we're gonna sort of paste that all together so you guys can uh, see how it looks I met Merman Jackson Mermaid Rachel working at Labyrinth Masquerade Ball in Los Angeles a couple years ago. Kind of became a frequent collaborator with them. I do makeup and airbrushing. I'm also a seamstress. You can find me on Instagram and social medias, usually under Victory of Your Nemesis. I have picked uh, an inspiration photo from this artist that I really, really like. Her name is Gretel Lusky. On Instagram, she is Gret Lusky. I'll definitely link that. This is my first time ever kind of making a video or anything, so I apologize if it's terrible. And then at this moment, <laughs> I will try to insert the picture that is inspiring us today. Since I'm staying dry up here, I'm also not focusing too heavily on um, waterproofing everything. I will be using mostly waterproof products because that's kind of what I tend to like to use anyways. Yeah, so I already primed my face, meaning oh, we put lotion on and primer and things like that so it helps everything stay and doesn't budge and boy almighty is it weird talking about stuff like this in this fashion. I guess maybe a little bit more about me before I really jump into it. Um, I sew and I make costumes and I also model and I do underwater modeling occasionally. I am a casual mermaid. I am not a professional mermaid, but I do own a couple of my own mermaid tails and I love it. I've always loved mermaids. I'm very, very excited that Jax and Rachel asked me to be a part of this and make some content for you guys. I don't even have like a fancy mirror, so I'm just going to have to hold my mirror in front of my face the whole time and I hope that's okay. <music> Based off of the picture that we're going off of, it's a very painterly watercolor sort of look. So I put my base down first and now I'm going to go in with my different eyeshadows on top of it. I do have a waterproof eyeshadow primer. Oh my god, this is good. There we go, it's by NYX Cosmetics. I don't necessarily know of any other ones, but if anyone has suggestions, I am totally open to them. Uh, this has worked great for me, and I really like it. So. completely unsymmetrical it's definitely on purpose yeah.
once we put a wig on, we'll go in and I'll touch stuff up a little bit. here because my nose is probably going to be up to about here in the water. of it actually I'm gonna do those other uh, things like eyeliner and mascara a little weird to think to do that on camera so I might do it off camera okay I'm back I have put eyelashes on and I got my wig cap on uh, just a plain black mesh wig cap uh, before I go in with my glitter I'm just gonna get my wig on and I need a, a little hair flower. So, I got a nice pretty wig. This wig is from Epic Cosplay. I, I have cosplayed for quite a long time. I don't do it so much anymore, but Epic Cosplay is definitely one of my favorite places to get wigs from. Really, really great quality. Okay, it's very, very windy outside, so I don't think we're going to be shooting super long just because we're a little limited on our weather here. Our part in our inspo pick is on this side. Will not tuck my hair behind my ear. That was kind of funny. What's an instructional video without some bloopers? Got the base makeup on, got my eyelashes, got my wig, got my hair flowers. So the last thing I'm gonna do is go in with some glitter. Yay! Everyone loves glitter. I do have biodegradable glitter. It is glitter that actually breaks down. I'm just gonna adjust here a little bit. And does, uh, it disintegrates over time, which of course is very, very important. A favorite vendor of mine is this company called Glitter Nymph. Uh, you can find her on Etsy and on Instagram. But I'm going to be using some green colors that I have. I need pinks. I have some pinks too. I'm going to give this pink color a go. I think this pink color will look nice too. So we have this pink, this kind of like green color. Now, 
applying glitter. There's a couple different methods. What we're going to use today, again, reiterating the fact that we're not really in the water or underwater. If you're shooting underwater, I don't really recommend putting glitter on your face because um, nothing that you do is really going to be able to make it stay. Um, however, if you're on dry land, the aloe gel method <laughs> actually works really great. So I have some aloe vera gel and I'm just going to kind of paint that on in the areas that I want the glitter and then we'll go in on uh, top of that with our different colors. Let me see if I have a slightly larger brush real quick. Give me one second. Let's go for it. Put on and I will see you guys outside. Thanks. Okay, um, we're outside. It's very windy. We're in my uh, we're in my jacuzzi. I've got some fake lily pads and stuff that I got on Amazon. This is my friend Stephanie. Uh, she's a great photographer, and we're really excited to do this. I don't know how much time we have out here because the wind's just blowing like crazy. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Feel free to message me if you have any questions uh, you want to ask me and I will do my best to get back to you in a timely fashion and enjoy the rest of your con because I don't know when this video is playing during the con. But uh, thanks for inviting me, Rachel and Jax, and you guys are the best and hopefully when this is all over we can all hang out. Bye! <laughs>